The landscape of all things automotive is changing. People are buying more and more crossovers and midsize SUVs than ever before. Now, just like you, I do get incredibly excited when manufacturers come out with brand new vehicles. But I do wonder if consumers are forgetting about some of these vehicles that actually started this craze. The Toyota 4Runner is one of those SUVs. It came out in the early 90s and is currently in its fifth generation. This week, I get to spend my time behind the wheel of the 2018 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro. The TRD Enhancement Package for 4Runner was new for 2018. The TRD Pro lineup was born from Toyota's rich racing and off-road heritage. All TRD Pro vehicles offer unique styling, as well as highly capable tried and tested performance, as well as off-road equipment. For approximately 7,500 more, this Pro trim adds 17-inch matte black aluminum wheels with TRD center caps, multi-terrain ABS, TRD logo on the front headrest, hood scoop, unique heritage Toyota grill, black TRD Pro badging on the C-pillar and tailgate, as well as black accents on the front and rear bumpers. The 4Runner hasn't been updated for about 10 years. Some people might say it's outdated, but I say if customers are buying it and it works, then why change it? I really appreciate the functionality and simple design. The thick knobs and the thick steering wheel have a nice feel to them. And honestly, if you're buying this SUV for a little bit more adventure, I have a feeling you're gonna choose functionality over a modern look anyway. The 4Runner comes in four trims in Canada, the SR5, the Limited, the TRD Off-Road, and this TRD Pro. All models come with standard features like seven-seater capacity, Bluetooth, and navigation. The Limited model spruces things up to modern times with automatic climate control, push-button start, driver's seat memory, and ventilated front seats. The TRD Pro adds black seats with red stitching and Optitron instrumentation gauges. Under the hood is a very loud four-cylinder V6 engine that puts out 270 horsepower and 278 pound-feet of torque. It's matched to a five-speed automatic transmission that's a bit slow to shift, but it does feel really solid. Runner's strength comes from its tough-as-nails body-on-frame construction, featuring a four-link rear axle and coil spring suspension. The tough chassis is also the source of the 4Runner's comfortable ride. The TRD takes the 4Runner suspension setup a step further, with unique TRD-tuned front springs, TRD Bilstein high-performance shocks with rear remort reservoirs, Vito Terra grappler tires, and a TRD front skid plate. Unfortunately, I did not get a chance to take this 4Runner off-road this week, but we've done it in the past, and as expected, everything we were able to throw at it, it handled with confidence. It offers good power and agility off the line. It doesn't have any problems getting up to highway speeds, but this 4Runner is built for off-roading. The ride is comfy enough for a daily drive, but these off-road tires do add some noise inside the cabin. That's just a reminder that it's happier crawling over rocks, dirt, and gravel. You can get all you need from the base 4Runner. Starts at 45,000, comes with four-wheel drive part-time and one-touch full-time all-wheel drive. Also gives you vehicle stability control, active traction control, downhill assist, hill start assist control, protector plates, and trailer sway control. But if getting dirty and heading out of the city on more of an adventure is what you want, then splurge on the TRD Pro for 55,000. The fuel economy is not that great. I averaged about 15.8 liters per 100K, and this is one area that the competition is definitely improving on, and honestly, the only thing I'd really change about this vehicle. With that being said, after this episode is over, take a look at how many older 4Runners you see on the road. That extra price tag gives you a more impressive SUV that has Toyota's dependability and reliability.